Hello, welcome to Words with Model Railway. My name's Mike, and uh, we're here for another episode of Let's Build a Card Kit. Now, this episode we're going to deal with rather than platform ramps. Um, I mentioned uh, uh, in the last video that uh, I wanted some steps at the end of my platforms, so I've come up with uh, this design and uh, what we'll do is we'll, uh, we'll go through the basic build process with you. Now it's in two sections there's a red dotted line this is two millimeter card this is your print only section and this little section here is a guide to how your wall sections actually all fit together so let's start by cutting down the red dotted line and separate the 2mm card uh, section from the print section. So it's nice and simple. Orientate your card on your cutting mat. Get your steel rule. Line it up along the red dotted line and then with your box section knife just gently run down the paper cutting through the card there we go let's separate uh, these from now we'll put this safe now what we'll do is we'll get some 2mm card here we go, some 2mm two, two card this we can actually glue onto there and uh, I plan on trying something new um, for this particular kit normally I'd use a jumbo prick stick um, but I'm going to try something that I've seen on Amazon a few months back and I've been itching to buy one and try it so uh, basically what you get is a plastic uh, bottle normal white PVA inside here um, and also in the kit should have had this out before we started you get uh, this roller, rubber roller basically it screws onto the bottle the glue comes out onto the roller and you spread it onto the card I'm not going to put it onto the paper because that's too thin I'm going to test it by gluing it, uh, putting the glue onto the card and then we'll place the uh, printed paper on top and glue it in place so let me assemble these sections off camera okay we've got those together now because I don't want to get glue over the full card section what we'll do is if we just bring the steel rule up to meet where the card where the printed paper actually covers the card what we can do is move that out of the way and we'll draw a pencil line down the card so all we need to do is actually apply glue just down to this line so let me show you how this should work like I says this is a test I've never done this before so on we go let's get the glue flowing make sure you get the glue to the edges of the card 
just like you would with the prick stick. It seems to be covering rather well. Make sure, like I says, we get to the end of the card because we want to make sure we've got good coverage. And then we'll come down to the line. there up to the top right <laughs> excuse the phone <laughs> right what we'll do is we'll place that to one side basically get your printed section line it up like so right now what we'll have to do is we'll actually have to put this to one side for now um, it might take slightly longer than the prit stick but we'll find out so whilst we wait for this to dry we'll just uh, switch off the camcorder and uh, we'll join once uh, the glue is dry okay actually rather than wait and waste time whilst that section is drying let's turn our attention to this what we can actually do is cut out all those pieces that are required we've got some little signage here should we wish to use them these are the covering strips for the uh, the steps and then this is the capping brickwork which will actually run across the tops of the walls to give that nice neat finish so let's get all these cut out I won't bore you with uh, me cutting out but what I'll do is I'll, I'll cut down this section here to part that away from this section okay we've got the wall sections cut out and you can see why I've now split it down into these components what we need to do now is there's some dotted lines running through this section which helps us fold the capping stones over and then these are the corner wall capping pieces which have red lines across them basically what you'll do is you'll take your steel rule place it against the red line and then like you've seen in previous videos use a empty ballpoint pen bring that down across the line several times just makes it easier to fold the paper and you get a nice crisp clean corner so I'll finish doing these off camera and then we'll come back okay so we've now finished scoring and folding each section and just like on previous videos how I've shown don't know if you can pick up but I've actually drawn uh, some pencil lines down the crease this just helps you when you actually start folding these round the card so you can actually get the card stock in the correct position same with the end covering pieces they're all pencil lined on the back so what we can do now is we'll actually cut these out and then we're ready to start cutting out from the two millimeter card so um, I won't bore you by me cutting these out on camera so we've got our sections cut out We'll now turn our attention to the walls 
and then once we get the walls and these covering strips onto the wall we'll then turn our attention to the steps so let me get these cut out now we've got our card section cut out these are the covering strips for the reverse side so see if you turn these over these covering strips will now get glued to these wall sides just like so so I'm going to use just a little lipstick size Pritt stick so let me turn the camera off we'll get these glued and then we'll carry on from there okay we've got the wall sections glued together just nicely what we need to do now is get the cover strip that goes down the end of this wall section which is this one here see how it's pre-folded what we'll do is we'll run some prick glue down there just like this and then you get the wall section and this is where those pencil lines come in handy turn it round and then your fold lines just down like so and you end up with a nice crisp clean edge It sounds like I'm talking through a cold. Um, <laughs> I'm afraid I am. So uh, be thankful you're, you're the other side of the camera. At least you're not going to catch the cold from me today. Right, so there we go. We've got that section on. You just need to do the same again for the front section. And then uh, we do the front section on this one and the top section on this one. We don't do these edges because these are covered up by a different covering strip. But the whole system will glue together roughly like this so the platform will be running down here actually let's see if we've got a platform section at hand yep there we go here's the platform this is the wall section our cover strip that goes there that will go there and basically the steps will come down onto ground level right we've got our end covering strips on all our sections off wall what we need to do before we can start assembling the walls is get a capping strip that sits across this section here because this is the section that's level with the platform now how you do this it's not made to measure so what you have to do is 
just measure it out by placing it like so that's the end and then if you actually just place it against the line on a cutting mat you don't need to use a steel rule just bring it across so that section chops off this section will then get glued across there just like that that forms the top of the capping so let's get some PVA onto this now because it's so small I just use my adapter nozzle or needle nozzle whatever you want to call it and place some small beads of glue down there sure you've got the end that's it just put that down there for now that gets a little bit tricky pick that up apply it to your wall make sure it's centered right and then fold it over there we go it's nicely done is that now the top of the wall along with the top of this wall and the top of this wall will all be done once it's actually glued in place because you're going to have to make the joints right over each section Like so. So let's put these to one side. We'll now move our attention to the steps that run down. So we're back to the step sub base sections. What we'll do is we'll cut these out and then we'll make them the individual steps okay we've got our steps uh, cut out this is how they look and basically before we start to cover them what they'll do is they just go on top of each other just like so And this is just roughly to show you how they'll sort of end up. Let's see if we can line them up at, at one end. And that forms the steps to the platforms. So let's put these to one side. We're going to turn our attention now to the covering strips. Now what I'll do is I'll cut down the center to break them into two rows because what we've got are dotted red lines which will form the usual score marks so we can bend those ends underneath each card section so that's the top one so if you see That top step sits right where those red lines are. So we'll score down, bend them over, apply some glue, uh, and get them on each one of these sections. So let me get this stripped down. So I've got them broken down into the two rows. Let's push that one to one side. You've all seen how I do this 
score in. It's a used biro. It's got no ink in it, but basically you're using the roller ball that's inside the, uh, the tip there to make the score lines. Place it close to the red line. One, two, three, four. Move to your next line. Line the rule up. One, two, three, four. And then to your next red line. One, two, three, four. And then the final red line for this particular section. One, two, three, four. Now you'll carry on doing that all the way down, but the reason you're doing those is so basically it's as simple as that. Nice simple fold over. I always fold, turn it over, pencil down the line. You don't have to do that, but I find it helps to line up the card under section and then your next one fold over try and keep it on the camera rather than pulling it towards myself back over simple as that so let me do the rest of these with the camera switched off and we'll come back Okay, we've got the cover sections now cut out for the first four steps. Here's the subsections for those first four steps. And basically, you get your first one. Find, like I said, I'm a prick fan, so lipstick size prick glue. Give the backing a good coat. Get your section basically you just line it up with your lines that you drew on the back make sure it covers the base correctly a little bit of a slide yeah make sure it's right onto the edge like so fold over under it goes fold over under it goes that's the first step covered all you now need to do repeat that with these next four sections and then we'll go to the next phase Okay, we've got these step sections covered now. We've got some bulldog clips ready. Now, this is how high I prefer to uh, build mine, but you can. Th there's no correct way, to be honest. I just find this simpler. What we need to do is apply glue to the underside of that one. On the underside of that one, and then we'll turn that over, just place it on, place that one on there. Now, just this is where you need to line them up and make sure you have them vertical and aligned once you're happy you've got them little clip just to hold it in place little clip to hold it in place turn your attention to the other one line it up line it up clip Clip. 
put these two on the side and we'll turn our attention to the next row of covering stones. Okay, whilst we wait for the steps to dry, we're turning our attention back to the wall sections. Now, this has been designed so that it can all be mirrored depending on how you want your steps to come down from the platform. So you can come down this way, but say you want the steps to come the other way, just simply turn your wall round glue that this side it's a bit awkward with me being right handed but basically that will glue onto there that will glue there and now you've got your steps coming down the opposite way so it's quite a universal kit you can use it either end of your platform and you can mirror image them depending on how you actually want the steps to appear so what we'll do first is we're actually going to glue this section there we go, that's enough glue onto this one and then what we'll do is we'll just let that set aside for a little while once that dries we can do to make sure you've got it upright there we go that to dry. We've now got the bottom step section, there's two steps to this one. What we can do now, apply a bit of glue down here and to the end. So let's get some PVA. Apply it nicely to the end. You don't need to overdo it with the glue, it just needs to be enough to form a bond. And then on the end, like so. Let's just leave that there a minute. And what we'll do, that just simply slides down to the two wall sections that we've got in there so basically we're at that stage and then you'll need your next pieces which isn't those ones now apply the glue to the edges and 
Come to the end here. And then that just simply slides down. So apply pressure till it goes onto the bottom step, onto the side wall, and the back wall. You'll next get the next two rows of steps. They'll go onto there. Next two will go on to there, and then you're actually flush with where we need to be. Then, so let me take these out and get these glued in place. So, we've got all our steps in place. We now need to glue this outer wall section like so and you're nearly ready to actually put this on the layout now. So let's uh, get this glued in place. So we've now got the basic assembly together. Just need to wait for the glue to dry before we move it around too much. What we need to do are the capping stones and the edge covering strip down there. So we're now ready to apply the corner covering. Basically apply glue to the rear section of the cover strip. Get it onto the corner and fold it round that edge. Just like so. Right. We can take this away now. See, it's nearly there. We just need the top capping onto this section, then we'll work to this section and then we'll come down. So there's capping strips here. Basically what you need to do is mark its length Using the cutting mat, line your notch, mark with a line, and just bring it down like so. Now, what you need to do, because you're now going to have to take a little clip out, which is two bricks width. just along this bottom section and you'll soon see why when we glue it in place so it just comes out two bricks 
pull that down. So when this folds over, it goes right into the corner and you end up with a nice neat finish on top of your wall. So let me get that glued into place. So we've got our capping strip on. There we go. Let's do this section here. Same as before. Measure the full length right up to where the drop starts. So place that there. Bring it back down to your cutting mat. Line everything up again. And we come across the line. Just like so. Test fit it whilst it's dry. Once again, just like we did this corner section, you need to notch out two bricks. So it fits into this corner nice and neat. So find your two bricks. That's the two bricks taken out again. test fit again that just drops nicely where it then slopes down so let's get this section glued in place and then we've just got this drop down and that's the full kit complete Right, we're now onto the home stretch now. All we're going to do is measure up for this last section. Like so. This is the fiddly part. Mark the line. up on your cutting mat secure it down let's do a test make sure she's the right lens excellent Right, let's get this section glued in place. So that's the kit complete. We've got the capping stones on, the steps are in place. And I hope you think it is quite easy to put together. It looks complicated, but believe me, it is quite simple and if I can now bring a test platform section along basically it will just clip onto the end of the platform like so or it can go on this side of the platform And you don't need to have the ramps these will fit nicely onto my layout whether they'll work for your layout out there the choice is yours but I will definitely be uploading these onto the website so it will then extend the kit even further well thank you for watching join me again uh, 
in the next episode of Let's Build a Card Kit. It's bye for now.